got the eSport Phoenix out today. I just wanted to do a watt meter test of two different uh, LiPo packs. The kit comes with the 1500 milliamp 3 cell there. I usually run it on a 2200 milliamp 3 cell. But I wanted to just do this video and find out on the 4 cell 2200 uh, what sort of numbers especially watts and amps we are able to generate on that. So the propeller that comes with the kit is a four blade, approximately five and three quarter inches diameter and probably roughly the same, five and three quarters, six around there in pitch as well. Okay, so the 4-cell delivering the goods power-wise there, you'd hear it was uh, sounded a lot stronger and we've almost doubled the watts there from 165.9 and now on the 4-cell up to 323.4 and at the same time the amps have gone from 13.85 and now with the 4-cell we're pulling 20.91 amps so I believe the Phoenix has a 30 amp ESC so uh, 20 and a bit amps shouldn't really trouble that and at the same time if by chance it is a 20 well Less than one amp over that it should still be all right. Uh, it might be worth just flying it for a Bit less time just to be on the safe side. So let's take it to the field and see how the difference is for ourselves in flight All right time for the Phoenix's flight test on a 4 cell 2200 milliamp battery. Uh, conditions are very windy, very gusty today. So we've got a little bit of extra weight, probably 50, 50 plus grams in the nose. So let's see how it performs on the 4 cell and uh, in even windier conditions than last night. So here we go. Phoenix just went down pretty bad. Yeah, full control, bring it up, wind just put it straight to the ground. So, have a look at the damage and see what we're going to do. Well, Phoenix is looking a little worse for wear here. See the tail. 
propellers snap clean off. Just where the servo mounts up there. But on the whole, not too bad. A bit of glue, bit of tape maybe. Until it's uh, not hurricane winds and we might 